September 24th, 2020. Pro bodybuilder and YouTuber Greg Doucette issues a bold statement to the world. I don't care if you're Furious Pete, Eric the Electric, or even Matt Stoney. You're not eating 10,000 calories from my freaking cookbook. You can try. Can't do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to Greg is the author of the Anabolic Cookbook which is filled with tasty treats in various low calorie and high volume recipes. Over the past few months, multiple YouTubers have done food challenges based on certain recipes within this cookbook. Quite recently, YouTuber Will Tenyonson and Greg Doucette successfully consumed 10,000 calories from the cookbook. Their times varied between five to nine hours. But today, one man will attempt to do what no man has done before, the 10,000 calorie anabolic cookbook challenge in one sitting. Get ready folks because this week's video is going to be a wild one. I have to take down a minimum of 10,000 calories from Greg Doucette's cookbook. And of course the obvious, I have to eat all of it in one sitting. Lastly, condiments are allowed for this challenge but only Greg Doucette approved ones, which are all the low calorie condiments. This is going to be another extreme capacity challenge. Folks, if you've missed the last few challenges that I've done on my channel over the past few weeks, I've been pushing my capacity, mainly because I've got some insane challenges coming for the holiday season. That being said, folks, after 63 miles on the bike today, a 10.1 mile run, and a gym session, my appetite's there, and I'm ready to get this challenge started. All right, you guys, so since this is about to be a pretty crazy capacity challenge, I thought it'd be a good idea to weigh in before and after this challenge, because this is gonna be a lot of volume. Just gonna get this out of the way first. This is gonna be a lot of food. It's time to start cooking. Wow, that is a lot of food, everybody. Like I can't even, I couldn't even fit all of this on my table at a certain point, folks. This is gonna be absolutely insane, and this is going to be a ton of volume if I haven't said that enough already. So I'm gonna put a full rundown of everything we have right here, folks. I'm gonna put it somewhere over there, over there, so you guys can see what we have going on tonight. This is going to be rough. I know that for a fact, but I was challenged, everyone. I was challenged. And there are a ton of YouTubers out there doing this challenge, so I thought, you know what, why not take a, take a shot at it, all right? But of course, me being me, I decided I wanted to try to do it all in one sitting. So that being said, folks, we have all the food on the table right here. This is the Anabolic Cookbook Challenge. Four wraps, French toast, chicken burgers, hamburgers, ham and cheese. I even got some, some chips over here, guacamole and chips bison pizzas, peanut butter and banana sandwiches. We also have some grilled cheeses over here. I also had to make sure I got my Diet Coke in this as well. And I also got some cookies. I don't know how long this is gonna take me, folks, but I think for this challenge, everyone, you know what? I'm gonna give myself a one hour time limit to take down all of this food. If you guys think I can take all this food down within one hour, I want you guys to comment down below. Bread, because 
got a lot of bread on this table. That being said, everyone, the total calories for everything we have on this table, I'm gonna put those right there for you guys. The total macros, that means protein, carbs, fat, all of those will be listed like right there for you guys. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is the 10,000 calorie anabolic cookbook challenge. Let's do this. I think you know what we're gonna do, everybody? We're gonna start with the French toast first because I love French toast. It's delicious. And in this case, it's nutritious. Just so you guys know, it's 6.58, Wednesday, October 7th. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start this off with a little speed, a little speed action. You guys haven't seen me do some speed in a while. So we're gonna try to eat this epic stack of anabolic French toast as fast as possible. If you guys haven't yet, give the video a like and please. I, with all this fiber, I most certainly will be tomorrow. Gold to beat, it's two minutes. All right, three, two, and one. Let's do this. I'm starting that over. <laughs> that's that's gonna be a better bite, okay. One more time. Three, two, and one. Meeting with my left hand. Are you kidding me, dude? All right. Well, one minute and 48 seconds, 49 seconds. I did the eat that with my hands. Okay, I broke the rule. Let's try our first anabolic shake. Put some PB2 on top. Ooh. Everyone. That is, that is delicious. That is gonna get, that was gonna get a fire. Wow. All right, folks, well, the first shake is down. So for shake number two. Ooh. Two shakes are down. Seven and a half minutes in. Now, Greg recommends to put gravy on our sandwiches. So we're gonna do what Coach recommends tonight. I've never really thought of putting gravy on a sandwich before. Let's see if it's good. Not bad. Not bad at all. One sandwich is down. I'm gonna need a lot more paper towels in this. Just wanna say, any of the paper towel companies wanna sponsor me? Let me know. I just wanna get all this bread, or as much of it out of the way as possible. Gotta use my no sugar out of ketchup. All right, well, we're 13, 14 minutes in. Hey, and cheese sandwiches. My bad, these are the grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> There's just so much bread. All right, folks, well, our three grilled cheeses are down. My boy Will said this too. There's a nice contrast between the salty and the sweetness. So, here we go. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's gonna get a W. Oh, W. All right, folks, 22 minutes and 38 seconds in. Everything's been going great so far, but this is the elephant in the room. This is going to take up the most stomach space for me, so I just gotta get into these wraps. I don't even know if these are gonna hold together or not because there is canned spinach in here because I wanted to get some extra veggies in, which is probably a really stupid idea. But, uh, ooh, this is not looking, this is not looking too good. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, everybody, that is gonna get a, that's gonna get an EWW moment. It's totally my fault for adding canned spinach. I definitely forgot how much 
can't finish really sucks, but oh, we're gonna try to get these done anyways. The one good thing is that the, the water from the spinach is soaking up the dough of these wraps, which is making it easier on my stomach, but it's still very, very, very dense. I can't, I'm sorry everybody, I cannot do those right now. Uh, I'm going to put these somewhere else because I just can't look at them anymore. That spinach just literally... Oh, that's not good. By the way, I'm, I just want to say I'm very excited to try these in case anybody actually cares. I've never had bison before, so I was actually really excited when I saw that in Greg's cookbook. I had to make these. These are the chocolate, chocolate, protein chocolate cookies. Not bad. I mean, guys, these really aren't bad. I'm not even. <laughs> this is this is the kind of food that I eat regularly. That's why I like this stuff. These cookies are, these cookies are dense, very dense. We're gonna do the burgers next. We're gonna add some, some gravy. No more than 50 calories, Greg says. No more 50 calories, it looks like, yeah, it looks like 30 calories, so I think we're good. The last time I think I ate this much bread in the Costco bakery challenge. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, 44 minutes, 11 seconds in. Man, maybe it's that Dragon Ball Z challenge I did last week. I feel like this right, is way more filling than it should be. Ooh. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Ooh. I don't know if it's that spinach that I ate, but goodness gracious, man, my stomach just feels like it's in another dimension right now. Oh, I can't even, I can't even look at those wraps. I'll find out shit. All right, folks, here's what I'm gonna do right now. We're 48 minutes and 53 seconds in. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do those wraps and these pizzas are looking very daunting right now. Yeah, I really thought I'd be able to do this one today. Here's what we're gonna do, all right, we're gonna compromise. I'm gonna stop the timer. I'm gonna admit defeat in the sense that I could not do this in one sitting. I could probably do all these pizzas, but those wraps are just, those, those wraps over there are just not gonna cut it. So what we're gonna do, 7.51 right now, Wednesday, October 7th, pause the timer, go do a little movement, and then we're gonna come back to this and try to see if we can get this down in an hour. 12 seconds later. Oh my goodness. I legit feel like I'm making your pounds for some reason. Decided to go for a little nightly stroll. I gotta walk off some of this for baby. A few moments later. Oh. Time for a little protein dairy dessert. And there we have it, folks. High protein dessert. Oh. When I do really, really, really high fiber challenges like this, it hurts a lot. I know Greg's not gonna like this very much, but I had to get out some ranch. So I'm gonna need to take down those pizzas. The ranch will not count towards our total calorie count. But of course, because we need some easy calories, I decided to go with some guacamole. These are 120 calories a piece. Oh my gosh. We have two flat out wraps right here. And then this massive dessert uh, with a ton of cottage cheese in it. Speaking of which, we need to Flavor this up a little bit. All right, so here we go. Let's actually want to try this bison. Not bad.
I just feel so healthy right now. All these vitamins and protein and micronutrients inside me. So healthy. By the way, we're 57 minutes and 14 seconds in. Fifty nine minutes, five seconds in. It's safe to say that we're not going to finish. In under an hour. You suck. I mean technically I don't even know why I stopped the clock to be honest. I just really wasn't thinking. I felt pretty bad at the time. And I still, actually right now I feel even worse. And I wasn't, again, thinking clearly. So I probably should have just left the clock going, but whatever. Oh, I didn't talk about this. Five minutes and I really don't want to look at this dessert. No offense, Greg, but the desserts I'm used to eating don't look anything like this. But regardless, I will start up my bulking diet again soon. I'm gonna need some extra protein. I don't know where to go. Anyways, let's try this out. It was actually not bad. Let me give this one a, a fire, everybody. You're probably gonna be surprised, but this tastes actually a lot better than it looks. <sighs> Oh my goodness, everybody. Oh. Everybody, we're halfway finished with this. Oh my goodness. Oh. I doubt even Matt Stoney could finish this in one sitting. It's not like Matt's even watching this, but Matt, if you are by any chance watching this, I challenge you to give this a shot and try it out for yourself. Because this is no, this is no joke. If you guys are still with the flow of the video, I need you guys to comment down below is full because your boy hair is very, very full right now. One hour and 13 minutes, 12 seconds down. Oh, Excuse my language. Oh my gosh. If you guys are curious about how much I weigh after this, I'm gonna show you that right now. So, 8.58, Wednesday, October 7th, after the challenge. It means it took us just under two hours to complete. It's time to check our final weight. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. I'm gonna put another Eric the Electric video right there for you guys, and also another playlist for you guys to enjoy right over there, in case you guys wanna keep rocking with me enjoy more of my videos. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. See you guys next week.